Pfeiffer. Joe. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's okay. Sorry. No, no Please problem. Please sit. Thank you. Is this table okay? This is perfect. I, uh, I had a muffin while I was waiting. Two, actually. I eat when I'm nervous. I do that too, actually. I, I hope I'm not late. Is, uh, uh, Phil told me one o'clock. No, you're fine. I got here early. About an hour. <laughs> Um, would you mind if I, uh, if I took some notes? Would that be all right? You don't mind if I, uh, take some notes, do you? Are you gonna use my name? No. Not if you don't want me to, no. I, I, I just had a kid, and he's, he's only one, but I, I'm not sure I want him to know about this. Sure, I'll get that. You can stop this interview at any time, Patrick. Right? Okay. Go ahead with your notes. Okay, so, um... Where would you live when it, when it first happened? In the projects, over in Hyde Park. Over by the stop and show. Yeah. yeah. You know it? Yeah, I drove a cab for a few years. Open early, bad coffee, right? Yeah, I guess. How old were you when it happened? I was 12. Just after my dad killed himself. Oh, jeez. He was a real piece of shit. And my mom, she wasn't so stable either. How do, how do you mean? I mean, she was nuts. She was a schizophrenic. Same shit. When did you first meet Gagan? Well, my sister, she saw him over in the Dunkin' Donuts. Tells him about my old man passing, and he rushed right over. And there was this nun, Sister Barbara, and, and she ran this group for kids from troubled families. Mm -hmm. Where was that? Uh, St. Ambrose in Dorchester. Okay. She's the one who introduced me to Father Shanley. He was a street priest. Long hair, very hip. He invited me to his apartment in Back Bay. Where in Back Bay? Beacon Street. Beacon, okay. Are you from here? Uh, no, I, I grew up in Ohio, but my mom's from Southie. Oh, okay, so you got it. Mm -hmm. I'd never even seen Back Bay. So, what happened on that first visit, Joe? Well, it was very nice at first. Very funny, very casual. And I think he could tell I was gay. So he showed me this mobile he had, like over a baby's crib. Mm -hmm. But with different words. Homosexual, transsexual, bisexual. Okay, and did you know you were gay at that time, Joe? <laughs> yeah. But that wasn't information I was sharing with anybody. Not in Dorchester. Okay. So, what happened after he showed you the mobile? Well, I was a little freaked out. Mm -hmm. I think he could tell. So he said, you know what'll help is if we play Stripoka. Of course, I lost. And uh, things went on from there. Can you tell me specifically what happened? Specifically, he, he molested me. Joe, I think that language is going to be so important here. We can't sanitize this. Just saying molest isn't enough. People need to know what actually happened. We should probably get these to go. <clears throat> right. Gagan shows up, and my mom, you know, she's... She's thrilled. And this was like God showing up, you know? Sure, right. So what happened then? You really want to hear this shit? Yeah, yeah, Patrick, I do. He offers to take me to get ice cream. You know, he's a priest. I'm a kid, so I go. Sure. So we're driving home, and he... He starts patting my leg, and... You know, then... His hand just slides right up, and he, he grabs my dick. You know, I, I just froze up. I was fucking petrified. I, I couldn't move. I didn't know what to do. I was just a little kid. Yeah. 
You know, he never even touched my ice cream. Just melted down my arm. Did you, um... Did you see him again after that? Yeah. All right. That's good. Let's stop there for now. Sure. He said it was a way to make me more comfortable with my body. Hmm. So what happened after that? Well, he took off his clothes and he said, I've been so depressed, but maybe you can cheer me up and give me a blowjob. Classic guy. And did you? Yeah. I know what you must be thinking. Like, why would I ever do that to some creepy guy who's 30 years older than me? But what we have to understand is that this is the first time in my life that someone told me that it was okay to be gay. Mm. And it was a priest. So you had oral sex? Did you have intercourse? Yes. Uh, not then, but later. It really messed me up. I'm sober now, but that, that was the beginning of it all. It's very confusing, you know, to be introduced to sex like that and then, and then to be attracted to men. It's... I'm sorry. I knew I was going to do this. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It's okay, Joe. It's okay. <laughs> but of course, there is a church right there at a playground. Joe, did you ever try and tell anyone? Like a priest? <laughs> can I use your phone? Yeah, sure. You know where it is. You can use my name if you want. Thanks, Patrick. Don't thank me. Just get these assholes, will you? He's one of the lucky ones. He's still alive. 